Next up is the Defensive Player of the Year. I picked Justin Houston of the Chiefs. Uh, the defense might be on the field a lot, so he'll have a lot of chances. And then my MVP will be Andrew Luck of the Colts. He doesn't have a lot of big names, but he'll get the job done. My Defensive Player of the Year is plain and simple. When you add a healthy Javon Clowney to your defensive line, along with Vince Wilfork, all that's going to happen is that you're going to become the first player ever in, the NFL, in NFL history to win Defense Player of the Year three times. That's right, I have J.J. Watt. I know that's what everybody's going to say, but you have to really look at it. The man has a high motor, doesn't stop, and he's going to have nothing but help this time around on that defensive line. Now for MVP, Everybody knows that the NFL is just clamoring to have Andrew Luck be the face of this league. And he's damn near close. With having no kind of defense behind him, all he's going to do is throw up big numbers, especially with that revamped offense. So he could possibly win the MVP. But then again, with, I hate to say it, Manning getting ready to head off into the sunset, that Aaron Rodgers could easily win his third MVP because of the offense you're going to have around him and the complete team and the guy is just amazing. But let's not forget Peyton Manning. I mean, why not? He's won it five times. Why not win it six in probably his last year? But odds are it's going to be the Aaron Rodgers. Peyton Manning. My playoff season for the NFC goes Packers 1, Seahawks 2, Cowboys 3, the Saints 4, Lions 5, and Giants 6. And then for the AFC, Raiders 1, Colts 2, Steelers 3, Bills 4, Dolphins 5, and Browns 6. And then for my Super Bowl matchup, I have the Packers versus the Colts, and that is a game that a lot of people should want to see. When it comes down to my playoff seating, it's almost the same as Rubens, except for a few changes. In the NFC, I got Packers 1, Seahawks 2, Cowboys 3, Panthers 4, Lions 5, and yes, the NFC North has three participants in the playoffs. Vikings take the sixth seed. In the AFC, of course, Peyton Man on the Broncos, number one. Two, I got Big Ben and the Steelers. Three, I got the Houston Texans after they steal the AFC South. Four, I got the Bills as a surprise winner of the AFC East. And then bringing up the rear, I got Ravens 5 and Bengals 6. Because the AFC North is just that solid of a division. They're going to have three participants once again in the playoffs. And when it's all said and done, my Super Bowl matchup, it's going to be that Aaron Rodgers versus the Sheriff, Peyton Manning. Heading off in the sunset with one more shot at one more Lombardi trophy. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. To win this video, I'm going to give an update on my NFL's best, worst, and I will mention. I'm going to temporarily stop that segment that, that I've been doing for the last couple of years, only because I want to follow through on what Daniel and I have said throughout this video. I want to, I want to make sure that, that we got predictions right, and I want to make sure that, that, our, that our playoff seedings are, are just right or just close enough, and I, want to, I want, definitely want to know whether or not that our Super Bowl uh, matchups um, happen. And, um, that's going to be it, and um, remember to uh, like and subscribe and send us messages and uh, whether or not whether or not you've, you've liked what you've seen. And um, um, you have anything else to say, Daniel? One more time for the greatest quarterback that's ever played the game, Peyton Manning. And remember, kids, mind your biscuits and life for gravy.